Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, in case you're new here. We're here to get a message from the universe out for you. I'm going to leave this rather open-ended, um, although I already see I already see what the message is going to be all about. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's get out more information. There's some type of wish fulfillment coming in for you in the near future, and it involves like a passionate connection with another person. So if you've been really hoping for a new love to come into your life or a deepening of a current love situation, it seems like that's coming your way soon. Okay? Yeah. Oh, that's cute, you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so anyway, let me get all the cards out for you. Hold on. There's one card I have to pull clarifiers on, but let's chat a little bit about all this first. So we have the Nine of Cups. That came out right away. Your wish fulfillment paired with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I can tell that this is going to be a very passionate and fiery connection. It's going to be exciting. You're going to be feeling creative and inspired by this. Um, something you've really been wishing for. It's the Ten of Cups. So this is going to develop into a long-term relationship, okay? This is somebody you may even potentially spend the rest of your life with or, again, just have a long-term connection with, okay? Um, we do have the Four of Pentacles, which I'm going to clarify. To me, right now, that's representing the two of you really holding on tight to each other. This is going to be a connection you're not going to want to let go of. You've been waiting for a while. I feel like you may have even been trying to manifest a connection like this, and it's it felt like it was taking a really long time to manifest. Um, and it's because it's something that you've actually been hoping for and praying for. So it seems like it's going to be a deeply fulfilling connection, one that will stand the test of time. Let's get out a clarifier on the Four of Pentacles. Any extra info I can get for that, um, other than the fact that it seems like the two of you are going to cling to each other pretty tightly. Yeah. You guys aren't going to want to let each other go. I'm getting all tongue-tied right now, you guys. I feel like this person is going to make you feel very giddy and excited. They're going to be feeling exactly the same way about you. Um, again, you're going to want to cling to this relationship a little bit. It's just going to feel right. I really feel like right from the get-go, you're going to know that this is your person and they will know the same about you. So I'm going to get a message from them. You may or may not have already met this person. If you haven't, you will be meeting them very, very soon. They are going to be very physically attracted to you. Okay, let's get out another card. If I have time, I might not have time, you guys. Hold on. Time to ground yourself. It's going to be important that you don't get too carried away. I feel like the two of you are going to go through that kind of like love bubble honeymoon phase, but it's important to stay grounded and clear-minded as well. 